Highlights of Cal Maritime Rugby taking on Army West Point. It would unfortunately end up the last game of the season due to the coronavirus outbreak. Army struck first, but the key hole is answered. Kick ahead. There's a in it. Full back for Cal Maritime. He's going to touch it down under the post for the first try of the day for Cal Maritime. Norm Allendorf with the call. Ben Tuapolotu grabbing the big bounce, taking it all the way in. The Army player couldn't handle the tough sun. Keel Hollers would tie it up at seven apiece after the Jonah Wolf conversion. Then some confusion on whether or not Josh Bates had scored a try after Ben Tuapolotu kicked it ahead. Little kick ahead for the win. Initially ruled not a try. Oh. Referee says no try. But after the official chatted with the captains and the coaches, they got an understanding of the ground rules better, knowing that the try zone goes all the way back to the white line. As you can clearly see, Bates was in. And some shake and bake from Wolf. And a big gap there on a nice dummy by the scrum half, who looks like he's got one man to beat. This play, replayed courtesy of Alan Bernbach, Initially ruled not a try as well, but then the high tackle that comes here at the end gave the Kielholners the try on a penalty. And right before halftime, big moment swings here. Josh Bates with the interception. You can't see him, Army didn't either. Oh, and an intercept by the, the win for Cal Maritime. But there he goes the other way. On the rumble. He dots it down for another try for Cal Maritime just before halftime. Like a thief in the night, or dusk in this case. And the keel haulers were within two at the half. Second half, they'd make a game of it again. Got some space out here on the near sideline. Got some speed here too. One man to beat. Alex Cortesis over to Andrew Cavinta. Keel haulers made it a game, but eventually Army would pull away for the victory, and the season unfortunately would also be done. New Haulers finish this season three and one in league play in their 15s. We'll still honor our seniors in some way, and this Q Hauler team has a bright future.